Greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. This is chemistry. In this video, we want to look at this question on the board. The question is coming from 2018 General Certificate of Education, GCE, and this was question number three. Please follow the presentation. The question reads, the figure below shows the magnesium ion in the ionic bonding in magnesium oxide. So we have this figure here, which is showing the magnesium ion. And then we have questions based on the figure, based on the diagram. The first one, part A, says write the atomic number of magnesium. So it is needed here. The second one, B, determine the valence of magnesium. You should write it here. Then we have uh, C, which says write the chemical formula of the compound formed when magnesium reacts with chlorine gas. Then we have D, state any two physical properties of the compound formed in C above. Okay, so the question, ladies and gentlemen, is from the atomic structure and the periodic table. So you need to understand those two. Now, this is magnesium. When you look at the periodic table, magnesium is written in this manner. Okay? This is the symbol for magnesium. Now, take note that elements on the periodic table that have got two letters as the symbol. The first letter must always be capital. The second letter is small. Unless those with single. Those with single, it should always be capital. I hope that is clear. Now, this magnesium, again, on the periodic table, just like any other element on the periodic table, it has got numbers. On top here, you will be able to find 24. Then down, there is a 12. Do you understand the meaning of those two numbers? This number on top is the mass number of this element or nuclear number, you can call it in that way. Then we have the bottom number here, which is the proton number. This is the proton number or the atomic number of this element. So these are the two numbers you'll be able to find there. We'll discuss them in details as we move step by step. What we have here is magnesium. Now we have got this, we've got these dots here. What do they mean? What do they represent? Magnesium ion. Now, in an ionic bonding, when we say ionic bonding, we are talking about a bond that exists between a metal and a non-metal. Okay? That is ionic bonding. In that bonding, a metal will always lose electrons. So what you are seeing here are electrons. Okay? A metal will be able to lose electrons in order for that metal or in order for the compound to gain or reach noble gas. Because noble gases have got a configuration that is complete. That's the reason why those, they do not undergo chemical reactions. Okay? So, in order for this magnesium to be stable, it has got how many electrons? 12 of them, right? Let's count here. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I see. But here it's showing what? 12. So if I bring in another ring, it means in the outermost shell, I'll have two of them in order for this to be 12. But those two, this metal should be able to lose them. These are the ones you are seeing here. Plus two. So metals is a plus, non metals a minus. So it indicates that this element for it to be stable 
to have a stable configuration, it should lose two electrons. That's the meaning behind that. So, we having said that, let's look at the questions so that we are able to understand step by step. Write the atomic number of magnesium. So look at this. What did I say this number is? Mass number. What about this? Proton number or atomic number. So the atomic number is 12. So here the first answer is 12. So we write 12. You can even get the answer from here. These are 10 plus 2 gives you 12. Determine the valence of magnesium. The number, valence means the number of electrons that a metal or an element will be able to gain or lose in order for it to be stable. So in this case, magnesium should be able to lose two, and that is the valence of uh, magnesium two. It also indicates that magnesium, if you look at uh, the periodic table, it is in group two. Okay, the group indicates the valence. It is in group two. These are called alkaline F metals. Okay, so all the group two elements are alkaline F metals. And the valence goes up to four. So meaning beyond that, you have to subtract from eight. I'll be able to show you here. So we are together here, right? Let's now look at uh, C. Write the chemical formula of the compound formed when magnesium reacts with the chlorine gas. So we have two elements here, and we want to write the chemical formula. So one is magnesium. I'll be able to write magnesium here. Then on the periodic table, this one, you find it written like that, chlorine, right? Well, to find or to write the chemical formula, you need to know their valences. So for this one, we have said it is 2. Write it down. Then this one, when you go to the periodic table, you find that it is in group 7. So the valence of this one will be 8 minus 7. And that will give you 1. So the valence of that one will be 1. Then the chemical formula will now be, you get magnesium. You are going to swap their valences. You swap them. So you get magnesium here, going here, like this, swap the valences. This valence which is here will be here. The two which is here will come this side. So since this is one, we don't write. You just leave it like that. So this will now be the correct answer. Magnesium uh, chloride will look like that. Okay? D, state any two physical properties of the compound formed in C above. Now, what has been formed here is an ionic compound or bonding where a metal will be able to react with a non-metal. So they are making ionic compound or bond. So here they are asking you what are some of the properties of ionic compounds. One, you need to know that uh, we are talking about the physical ones, right? You need to know that these uh, conduct electricity in solution or in aqua state. So that's the first one. You just say conduct electricity. In solution, you can say it in that way. In solution. That's the first one. At the same time, they've got high melting point, they've got high boiling point. All those are physical properties. So we can just say high uh, melting point. So there are a lot. This is the way this question was supposed to be answered. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you have, please don't hesitate to join our online classes, WhatsApp online classes uh, that are done from Monday to Friday, two subjects per day. And the subjects currently available uh, English, mathematics, biology, science, that is physics, chemistry, and additional mathematics if, uh, if at all you are taking that. 
also we have junior secondary grade 8 to 9 you're welcome and thank you very much for supporting me remember to share the video like follow me on facebook tiktok and subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye